It's on the line. Don't it's on lie. the line. Mm. Uh, it's more fair than foul, though. Okay. Now, all, everything that he said was fair. The only piece that was foul was when he said it was more about Bill Belichick than Tom Brady. I think Tom Brady has clearly proven that he is a bigger driving factor to success than Bill Belichick. But let's have a real conversation. Let's go. I played against old Peyton, older Tom. You played against young Peyton, younger Tom. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Peyton Manning's scarier than Tom Brady. Say it again. Like, by far and away. <sighs> and I, here's what I love. Mm. Because Stell has sat in defensive meeting rooms. I have sat in defensive meeting rooms. Mm. So this isn't even like an, uh, really a subjective conversation. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Based upon sitting in defensive meeting rooms with several defensive coordinators mm -hmm. on several different teams, mm -hmm. Peyton Manning was significantly scarier than Tom Brady because Peyton Manning would make you wrong. Oof. Tom Brady Oof. would just wait for you to be wrong. And there's a difference. Oh, I like that. I like that. There's a pivotal difference, y'all. I like that. Peyton Man you could come out in a simple cover three defense. Cornerback has a third. Cornerback has a third. Safety has a third. We in cover three. <laughs> Peyton Manning, he'll come to the line. Omaha, Omaha. He going to check. Cover three beater. He's going to run a comeback. Simple cover three beater. He going to make you wrong. Mm. Tom Brady will just come out there. Huh. Safety, he's out of alignment because I can tell that the outside linebacker is blitzing, but if the outside linebacker is blitzing, the safety should be covering down on my tight end. The mm. safety is not walked to cover down on my tight end. So I'm going to exploit you because you are already wrong. Yeah. But there's something different there yeah. between somebody making you wrong and you being wrong. See, if somebody makes you wrong, you can never be right. But Tom Brady has to wait on you to become wrong. Mm. And to me, that's mm. why I, I say it's point. more fair than it's foul. Because when you played against Peyton Manning, it was as though you were never right. When you played against Tom Brady, he was just going to wait for you to be wrong. Because yeah. eventually you will be, and yeah. he'll exploit it. Yeah, man, this conversation, it sounds hyperbolic when you read it on the headlines. But if you dive deep into it, you realize, not hyperbolic at all. This is just the pulse of the nation. And we are the nation in terms of being former defenders, in terms of being there with the defensive coordinators. And which one has sleepless nights when they had to face Peyton Manning? Don't say his name three times because it's going to be like <laughs> Candyman or Tom Brady. No shots at Tom Brady, y'all. Tom this Brady's is a great quarterback. Lay these facts down as they were laid. One was pick number one and one was pick 199. They didn't get it that wrong. <laughs> From hello, they didn't get it that wrong. You're right. right? They might have been wrong. Yeah. But they weren't that wrong. They weren't that wrong. And Peyton Manning, <laughs> dog, Peyton Manning hit the ground, and he didn't hit it running. But when he finally found his traction, he was off to the races. In his 17-year career versus Tom Brady, just the years they overlap, Peyton Manning beats him. Completion percentage, yards, touchdown. Like, it's not even a conversation. Let me give you a couple of examples that maybe drive this point home. We're playing Peyton Manning, right? Monday Night Football. Rifle, rifle, whole first half, rifle. I'm like, wait a minute, Peyton Manning now here slipping. Rifle means run right, run right, run right. Oh, look out, Edrin, look out, Edrin. Tackle. I'm still, ah! Come out, second half. This is before Omaha. I don't know when Omaha started. Rifle, rifle. Run right. Ooh, let me hold that. Edrin going like this. You know how Edrin used to look, the brace flying. <laughs> And then we're like, where the skinny receiver at, Marvin Harrison? He in there doing this. Touchdown, touchdown. Rifle change like that. To your point, Peyton Manning will make you, make wrong. you wrong. He'll give you bait. Peyton Manning, his head was a calculator on that field, literally and figuratively. This dude will go out there and compute things. Versus Tom Brady, young Tom Brady, no fear in our coordinators, to the point where Eric Mangini used to come on this show and said, they didn't even have a ton of faith in young Tom Brady, but it was working. Mm -hmm. He used to say to him and the coaches used to sit there and be like, I don't know if he's going to be accurate with this football, but he obviously blossomed and matured to Tom Brady. But don't let all this team success masquerade that there was a moment when you had to go against that quarterback or that quarterback, and it was obviously you'd rather face Brady than Peyton Manning. I love it because cats don't understand. Like, they might just think this is hate. Oh, Peyton Manning got seven – Tom Brady got seven Super Bowls. He's clearly better. Tom Brady's more consistent. Yeah. Tom Brady's healthier. Um, Play Tom longer. Tom Brady played longer. Tom Brady had better teams around him. Mm -hmm. But Peyton Manning was a monster, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'll say it like this. My, the, the running backs that gave me the most fear sell – weren't necessarily the best running backs. True. Okay, okay. The running backs that gave me the most fear there were the running backs that could embarrass me. Mm. Right? Like, Marshawn Lynch, because he mm. might run you over. Mm. LaShawn McCoy, because he might shake you out your shoes. But not necessarily even if they were the best. It was the ones that, like, 
could embarrass you. Yeah, yeah. Tom Brady's not going to embarrass you. Mm. His team might, mm. but Tom Brady will never have you out there embarrassed. Peyton Manning will have you feeling stupid. <laughs> like, truly stupid. Yeah, Peyton yeah. Manning will let, will let you tip off your hand of a blitz, then he'll call you out, then he'll check into the perfect opposition for your blitz call. Mm. He will embarrass you. Yeah. Whereas Tom Brady's team around him, you might be embarrassed because of the final score, mm -hmm. but Tom Brady ain't going to do anything that's truly going to embarrass you. Tom Brady is a greater quarterback than Peyton Manning because I truly respect team success, and I respect how Tom Brady makes everyone around him better. Yeah. So I'm not undermining Tom Brady at all. I think he's one of the greatest winners of all time in any sport. But Peyton Manning, dude. Dude, man, look, Bar Scott, the only thing I would take exception with, don't call Tom Brady a system quarterback, obviously, with the results now. Even back then, it can't be you're a system quarterback. Why? Because we just saw a greater quarterback than you, a better quarterback than you, First $100 million player in the NFL, Drew Bledsoe, play that position. Mm -hmm. And we saw you play it different. So I never went to the point where I would take a shot at Tom Brady like he's system. I was just saying, whew, if Peyton Manning was in that system, good Lord, I don't know the results. But Peyton Manning, five-time five MVP, seven-time All-Pro versus Brady, three and three. No conversation in terms of which one's through. Hey, we might need theory. to rank these top five quarterbacks all time tomorrow. Oh, the big four's still there, dog. We can go yeah. right now. Let's go get it tomorrow for sure.